Bonneville is one of the last true and pure things in all of racing. I'm a land speed racer. And land speed racers, their goal is to be the fastest in the world on whatever it is that they're riding. And there's people out there that just have that need for speed. And there's one place that's the most popular, it's the mecca of speed where everybody goes, and that's to the iconic salts of the Bonneville Salt Flats. It's been going on since 1914. Sir Malcolm Campbell in 1935 ran over 300 miles an hour. Now that's got to shock you because you visualize someone from that generation being some hokey pioneer. He had a leather helmet on and he had this beastly looking thing. But they were amazing back then and they're amazing today and we're still out there doing it. Two weeks ago I set my 39th land speed record and I can't wait to get back out on that salt. And I'm telling you this because a lot of people don't know about land speed racing. And the good part is there's no money in it. Like NASCAR, it got ruined with all the corporate and the money. It changed. It's, that wasn't like back in the days when there's those stock cars bumping each other. It's, it, it became commercialized. And so many other forms of racing have done the same thing. But if you want something that's pure, and you talk about proven performance, you know, SNS Cycle always talked about proven performance. I'm a motorcycle racer out there. I run my motorcycle, at, this is a pushrod V-twin, at 7,000 RPM for over three miles. It is screaming its guts out and everything's perfect. If I don't lose anything and I got good traction on the salt, and this is salt, it's not asphalt, and I'm tucked and my head's down, my elbows are in and my knees are in, and I'm watching that Tac Tap 7, I might be going to this magic place we call Impound. That's where you gotta go if you set a world record. And man, when a guy looks at you and goes, it just like goes slow motion, goes, go to impound. And oh man, I can't tell you, I, the flesh that comes over me, I just set a record, you know? And so, I wanna keep all of this alive. The wall of deaths, the motorcycle venues, especially the classic ones like Sturgis and Laconia and Daytona. They race on the beach in Daytona. So all you out there that don't know anything about this, look at the passion in this man and just do a little exploration of your own. Who knows, you and I might ride together someday.